Catherine Haworth, um, when she was handed her baby, her newborn baby, it was a wee bit of a surprise because it may not escape your attention there. Uh, Catherine is black, uh, of Nigerian heritage, and there is uh, the little man uh, on her knee, Jonah there, who's white. Okay, her husband Richard is white, but this shouldn't really be. Uh, because we've got genetic expert Dr. Emily Grossman uh, here as well. And this would be what, how, how uncommon would this be? Well, the doctors that spoke to um, this amazing situation said that uh, it was a one in a million chance. Now, there is one explanation that could explain why that would be. If we look at normal inheritance of, say, eye colour that you might have learned about at school, it's one gene that controls that, and you have two versions of that gene one from your own mother, one from your own father, and there's a 50-50 chance that when you have a baby, you'll give them either, let's say, the brown version or the blue version, and that will uh, ascertain which colour they get uh, as, as their own eye colour. Now, um, skin colour is actually controlled by <laughs> up to 20 yeah. different genes. the loveliest genes. baby in the world. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. It's not a baby, it's a toy. <laughs> <laughs> I just think there's batteries in there and he's off he goes. <laughs> so the colour that your eyes will end up, um, if you have a brown and a blue version, you'll end up with brown eyes because blue is, uh, brown is what's called dominant, so it wins. So in that situation, you One only really in a have, million. Have, One in a million. So right. With, with colour, then. So that's it's the so dominant gene, is exactly, it? Exactly. But when we look at skin tone, if we apply that to then 20 different genes rather than just one, each of which has a small effect on colour, you have almost infinite combinations of different colours from two different colours. Does that parents. mean Richard as a father there, he is, he is a very dominant donor it's there? It's totally, totally <laughs> by chance. If you imagine it, like you've got 20 pairs of playing cards, one black and one white, and it's the chance of picking the white version of all of those 20 pairs if you randomly pick one from each pair. So it is possible, but that becomes one in so two times one in two times so one in two. So it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a it's big surprise. Big so you're surprise. expecting a mixed race baby. Yes. And um, so when you first saw him, what did you think? When I first saw him, I looked and I said, wow, you know, as a... Um, first time mother I said wow I couldn't believe I created him and I just <laughs> fell in love with him instantly but you had your doubts so much so that you actually had to say you sure this is my baby <laughs> I was so drowsy on pephidine <laughs> I looked and I said is this my baby and the midwife just laughed and said yes yes of course it is well, I, do, I do have to say Richard Jonah looks very like his mummy you can yeah. see that, but yet the, the skin is, is yours. Yeah. yeah. So did you see him first? Because Catherine said she was yes. exhausted. Yeah. And, yeah. It was very long labour. Um, and uh, so, yeah, they placed Jonah on, on uh, Catherine's stomach, and then that's why I saw him first, and, uh, and then gave, gave him to Catherine. But somebody said that um, uh, mixed race babies, the colour, the skin colour, they can often be pale when they first uh, they're first born, yes. and then the colour kind of. This comes, is the thing. At the, if you look at the top of their ears, sometimes that's slightly darker, and the tips of their fi fingers. <laughs> if you look at the top of Jonah's ears, or his tie, when you're talking. Happens <laughs> during a lot of roots interviews. Yeah. yeah, it's a very common occurrence. But yeah. if you look at the top of Jonah's ears, it's the, you know they're the same colour as the rest of his body, so yeah. there's, it's not likely that he will get yeah. darker. So, Doctor, um, <laughs> what are the, chance, so the chances of little Juna having a brother or sister that will look like him in any way, skin tone, right. is nigh on impossible? Yeah. If the situation is what the, the one in a million suggests, which is that um, Catherine would have had one white version of all 20 of those genes, which came through her heritage, kind of hidden, because she may have had a white ancestor in her heritage or a few white ancestors, but those will have been masked because she didn't actually have, or no one in her mm. family had, a white partner up till now. If that's what happened and she's got a white version of all 20 of those genes, then it would be one in a million chance that she would have another baby what's, that was totally the white. What's reaction been so far, particularly you, Catherine, when you're out with, with Jonah oh on your God. own? We get so much attention. Just walking down the street, we always get stopped by people asking, well, first of all, they say, he's such a cute baby, you should put him into baby yeah. modelling, which yeah. you have. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a job this afternoon, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, mother care and um, early learning centre, so we'll be off straight there. It's going to be a wow. And then the first question they ask is, is, is he yours? And I'm like, yeah, and they want to know the story straight away. And does that upset you when people say No, not yours? at all. He loves the attention. You can mm -hmm. see he's a very smiley baby. He loves different faces and he's very sociable. <laughs> um, he's mixed race, but he's yeah. very, very light coloured. Yeah. yeah. Well, very, very good. Very, very it's interesting gorgeous. in all of that. At uh, one in a million, you are, Jonah. Yes, you are. Absolutely super. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Emily.